Hi, my name is Roger Ahuja, and I'm going to take a moment to show you how to create a recovery disk for uh, Windows 10. So I'm just going to go down here and search, and type in recovery, and go to the recovery control panel. And here I can create a recovery drive. Um, now I do need to point out that this recovery drive, unless you have this option available where you can check this to copy the um, recovery partition, you're not going to be able to restore all of Windows or reinstall Windows. All it's going to do, all this recovery drive is going to do is um, help you diagnose what's wrong with the machine. Um, you're also going to need a USB flash drive because it won't let you um, uh, it won't let you use a CD or a DVD drive to create this recovery. Okay, so continuing on, we're going to hit next, and then it's going to look for a available disk to use. I have um, a, a USB drive plugged in here, and here it mentions you need at least a 512 meg USB drive. So then you hit next, and it warns you that everything is going to be deleted on this uh, USB stick. So please make sure you backed up any data that you may need. Um, off of that stick. It should be a blank stick ideally. Then you hit create and it's going to do its thing. It's going to take a little while if it's um, copying the recovery partition also. Um, in my case it's not going to take nearly as long. Once you're done you hit finish and you're done. Um, if you to boot up off of a USB stick, in some cases you do have to change your BIOS uh, settings as far as the the boot options. So you may need to look at that if it doesn't boot up off the, the recovery disk right off the bat. Um, there's also um, many of the 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 BIOSes you can hit a keystroke, which will tell you, um, which will temporarily let you change the boot sequence and um, you'll have to look up exactly what that sequence might be on your machine. And uh, that's it.